Hello. It is time for Splatoon 3, specifically the Splatfest. It is time to partay, and by partay I mean commit arson. I am Team Fire. <laughs> Bulbasaur, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Bulbasaur. I love you dearly. But I have to do it for Score Bunny, and the shirts have Pue Coco on the back, and I, I need little pepper. Oh, little buddy! Hey, bud. Look at him. I don't think he even knows there's a festival going on. All right, listen up, it's going down. Repping the Splatlands, we are deep cut, etc., etc., etc. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Pokemon Collab Splatfest is on now. What's your partner Pokemon type? Hey, go vote for your team at the pledge box in the square. We all know Big Man is a Pokemon. How many man teens are people going to acquire and name Big Man now? I kind of feel like I need one. There's always a Splatfest going on in Little Buddy's head. Big Man is a water type. What about, what about Shiver and Fry? I feel like they can't all be water type. I think... <laughs> wow. Really? Really? The very first post we see. Okay. Oh no. I think it's a nice shade of green. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just appreciate the post in the square. If any of these are Pokemon spoilers, I am going to destroy you. Is that is that Bub? Like from Bubble Bobble? Deep cut. No, no pun intended. Dang, there's some really good art out here today. <laughs> da -da. I wish there was a good place to stand so I could enjoy all of their their concerts. <laughs> Team Water, it's not that deep. Shiver comes off as more of an ice type, yeah. Oh, it's Lucky. I've never had Lucky in my my times or my time. No, my I was gonna say village and then island and then it just. It got smushed together horribly. Um, Team Litten. It's lit. I like Cyndaquil, but I've never actually, <laughs> never actually taken Cyndaquil. I've seen video of someone who managed to climb on top. I, I see you, I see you shipping Cuttlefish and DJ Octavio, and I approve. Although it's funnier when you draw them as old man. Um, I've seen footage of somebody who managed to get on top of Big Man and just, like, stand on his head. Oh yeah, this, this jelly knows how to party. Um, but I don't know where you go to do that. Look at, look at them! Little baby jellyfish eating bowel? That's so cute. Cosmo, don't scratch the carpet. Okay, bye. Look at this little friend eating bowel. Baby! Ruin your team fire, yeah? Would you like to team up? <laughs> Lucky was in your times in New Leaf. Why does it sound like something like Homestar Runner-esque? Do you has the times? Trico! I think both Trico and Snivy suit Shiver very well. La 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 <laughs> Smug. Okay. I just I had to appreciate all the art in the square. I don't have time to fresh everything, but there's so much good art. Maybe I should post something. But I feel weird doing it. Like, hey, I'm streaming and I don't wanna eat up the stream trying to do a subpar drawing on uh, the switch. I'm gonna go to the lobby now. Bye, big man. I'm sorry I'm not your team. <laughs> okay. Oh, Cosmos is Mal to you all? Okay. Have I done my gotcha roll with, like, my conches? Yeah, I have. Okay. I have so many experience tickets. 
Look at this. Look at this garbage. And then there's five of these, too. Like, what am I gonna do with all of these? They don't do me any good. Whatever, I'm gonna get some more money. I'd eat the one that would let me give money to you all, but I can't. Um, Rue, if you're set, I will make a lobby. So, come on in. I'm gonna make a room. Holler, holler, get a dollar. Is that what Cosmo's doing? He wants money, perhaps to buy more treats? I mean, we have plenty of treats still, but he doesn't have unfettered access to them, so if he had his own stash... I wish I could go look inside the lockers while I wait for people. Not that I've really done much with mine. The inside just has more hollow stickers and the fish under the umbrella. Oh, there's Rue. Excellent. Out of the people I know that play this game, I know Carrie is Team Fire and Claire is Team Fire. But a, a lot of um, my pals are Team Grass. Like, I know you're Team Grass, Joe. Belle is Grass. Boogie is Grass. Dak is, is water. Dak may be the only one who's team water in this gang. What team are you on, Zarthwomp? I don't know. How many connection errors are we gonna get today? <laughs> I was thinking to myself the other week, I should put like a little graphic of little buddy in the corner somewhere. Really tiny. But every time I get a connection error, I just gradually make it bigger and bigger, and I just wait and see how long until someone notices. But I forgot to set that up. So I'm just verbally telling you, and you have to just imagine it. Team Grass for you? You like green and Bulbasaur was the best Gen 1 starter. You are correct. I love Bulbasaur still. I feel bad for Charizard in a way, because Charizard is cool. Conceptually. But... Having that four times weakness to rock is extremely bad competitively because so many competitive teams run stealth rock. Which, if Charizard goes into a battle with stealth rock active, I think it's like half its health gone. I see you up there, Flings a Roller. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, Roller. Or not Roller, goodbye, Brush. This is so disorienting, somehow. I don't know why. Maybe because the game is so up close for me when I'm usually, you know, looking at my TV far away. It's not a good place to pull out your tent missiles. But I respect the hotspot. Oh, oh, crap. Meaty streamer. Chiyoshi, hello! And good tidings to you. It's nice to see you. Since I know time zones don't usually align that allow you to, uh, well, show up to stream. There we go. If I do badly, it's just because I'm warming up. That's it. That's my excuse. This is unwise, but I'm doing it anyway. Oh, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. No! What team are you on, Chiaoshi? I don't know. As you can see, I am Team Fire. I'm so sorry, Bulbasaur. Oh, our, our uh, Hydra exploded before they could... Booyah. That's so awkward when you, you know, somebody activates a Booyah bomb and you're, you're cheering and then they get splatted, so your... Your cheers just vanish into the ether. Where do you think you're going? Aw, oh, heck. Well, we're both going to hell, apparently. Their name is just Ah. Uh, I betrayed Big Man. I'm sorry. Well, I was also on Shiver's team for the last Splatfest too, but Big Man sweep in my heart. Always, always Big Man sweep in my heart. Oh, for the don't. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna say don't run out of ink, but all right. This isn't really a great place to activate the crab tank, thinking about it. La, 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 la. Ow. It's a warm-up, it's a warm-up. I don't have to do well, it's a warm-up. So if I have to do well, 
for, for Team Fire. I have to do well for Score Bunny. You know what? Forget it. Leave them. They're not going to be able to make a big difference in the time allotted. Oh. Boo -boo. Yeah, Big Man has yet to win, but to be fair, there's only been the two Splatfest, and it's been Shiver both times. I saw a post in the square the other day where someone said, I'm just going to keep pick picking Fry until she wins one. Oh, I'm just happy that you came to say hello. I'm always happy when people do that. I assume it's probably late uh, where it is over over yonder. I'm rooting for Fry too. Do I want to use the splash o -matic? I know what else I want to use right now, so I'll just I'll keep with it. I did play a little bit last night before stream, but I was too tired to play after stream. Alas. I would also like Fry and Big Man to get a win at some point, even if it takes the final Splatfest, where it's just Fry and Big Man have decided they've had enough. I also like Shiver, but yeah, she can't win them all. It's gonna get to her head. I think it's probably already gotten to her head. Oh, it's not too late, but there are things you have to do. Don't you hate having tasks, demands on your time? Well, please enjoy the rest of your day, Chiaoshi. And good luck with any splatting that you do in the future. Lousy gotcha machine, can't even shoot it. All it gives me is experience tickets, sometimes ability chunks. I'm cursed. I'm glad I don't play stuff like Genshin or any Arknights or Fire Emblem Heroes or whatever the gotcha game du jour is because it just wouldn't end well. Part of you wants to see Shiver win every Splatfest just to see Big Man and Fry rise up and revolt. I want to see Big Man get big mad. Is it possible? Oh, Hydra, Hydra, Hydra. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't even the Hydra. Now I'm feeling like I need to switch to something with Splat Bombs. I think these Burst Bombs are not adequate for my purposes on this this stage. Oh, they're behind me, they're behind me, they're behind me, they're behind me. Oh. That was not a good use of my time at all. Thank you for squishing them, Rue. <laughs> we need a big rage quit from Big Man. No, I don't want to see him do that. I don't want to see him get big sad. Big Man deserves nothing but love and kindness and nice things. Get out of here, Hydra. Okay, now it is time for crab. I'm not gonna use crab just yet. Now it is time for crab. On a, a semi-related note to Splatoon, so I managed to get all, all the um, the badges you can get for getting to at least uh, 200 executive VP on all three of the currently available Salmon Run stages. And when I did it for um, the uh, the spawning grounds, it was on the absolute garbage rotation that was like the undercover umbrella, the I can't even remember what was on it now because all I remember is the undercover umbrella was giving me such a headache. It's not good to use because A, it's really weak, and B, that umbrella canopy just gives like the salmonids more things to bonk into and hunt you into the water, which is lovely on high tide. I should have rolled out of that. Um, but I got to 200 something on that horrible rotation without even realizing it until like I hit. 170 or something. I just got into this weird fugue state because I thought, oh, I almost have enough silver scales to get the pink slop suit. So I'm just gonna keep going because I want to fight a coho. And I would just keep going and I would keep getting bronze scales and be like, no, I just need two more silvers. Why won't you give me silvers? And then it just, I realized, oh, I'm at like 170. Well, 
And again, I need to emphasize it was not a good rotation. I think the only decent weapon was the Lunar Blaster. Can I get this Hydra at the last second? Yes. We may have lost, but I got the Hydra. That was rough. Oof. But nice colors, though. Oof is right. The Hydra is devious, and you've got the Splat Brella defending them a few times. I wonder if they know each other. Or just love has bloomed on the battlefield. Well, I tried. Maybe I'll switch my weapon a little bit, because I kind of want Splat Bombs. Something that I can throw up on those platforms to deter people from standing on them. Burst Bombs aren't super great for that. Wish the Zipcaster was better. I've been playing a lot of ranked or uh, anarchy, I guess, tower control. Well, I did yesterday. I played a lot yesterday. And it was going great, except the stages rotated, like, after the first battle of my rank up battle. So I'm, like, about to hit S, but I can't actually hit S. Anyway, I got up there with the Luna Blaster, and I almost never use the Zip Caster because it's just... I don't like it. It's so situational. Be right back after this match to get a new food and also a quick thing. Oh, that's that's cool. Like, drink ticket food or real food? Or both. <laughs> both probably good. I really want another Luna Blaster, except I'm sad that... The one with the Splat Bomb, which is my favorite sub-weapon, is going to forever be marred with the Zipcaster. Unless they make it better somehow. Ooh, what kind of real food? Miso soupy, really? Ooh, a Pokeball. How appropriate. I haven't had a Pokeball in quite a while. Oh! Jeez. I'm very good at just, like, standing in front of Blob Lobbers, even though I know that their Blobs are going to destroy me very quickly. I don't know what my problem is. you're going. That's what I thought. I really need to, like, write singable lyrics to these so I can just sing them during fests and bother everyone. Oh goody, I have the zip caster charged. Whatever will I do with it? It's not, it's not totally useless, but it's so situational. And your ink runs out so fast, and then I just get splatted. Your issue is you always manage to get surrounded on all sides by three opponents. I mean, when you use the zip caster. I think just one of the big things holding it back is the fact that your, your ink runs out so fast. So you don't really have enough of a tank to make much of a difference. Wait, stop it! <laughs> Oh, it's so sad. Like, the, the platform raised, like, a half second too late for them. I was really smart, I would get behind them. There we go. Oh, that brush is still going, huh? I don't like what's going on over there. Oh, they're still they're still on our base. Maybe I need to go and help. I can get in their base. go. 
I keep wanting to read it as hello me, like the cheese. That didn't really work as I wanted it to. You're so offensively oriented that the idea to use the zip caster like that hadn't crossed your mind. Oh no! A point two percent. Oh, maybe if I hadn't been splatted at the very end. That's my ink there, giving them that extra point two percent. I mean, yeah, it was a trade, but. Well, I tried. Rue, if you BRB, but I keep going, will it let you re with me? If it doesn't, let me know and I will uh, step out and make a new lobby. And look, we got- Rue and I got so many splats too, but it just it wasn't enough. It was not enough. You know what was terrifying is when I played a little before stream the other night, I got sniped in the back by a squiffer that had the badge on their their splash tag that indicated they had survived the hazard level max shift in Salmon Run. And they also had the silver Kohozuna badge, which I believe means a hundred Kohozuna defeats. I think, how much salmon have you been playing? Who has that kind of time? I don't have that kind of time. When I think about the time investment, like even if every wave, every every round of salmon run is successful, you're still looking at a few hours of just salmoning, probably with a dedicated group, I think, because the, uh, the hazard level goes up as everyone's job level um, increases. Yeah, you can splat everyone into oblivion, but it doesn't mean squat if you can't hold the majority of the arena. Much as I love my Luna, it's not the best for inking turf. It's not bad. Um, and I think it's perhaps better than some people may give it credit for. I don't know what the metagame's like. I don't want to know. Cyber Hell. Now that's a name. Maybe I should be using the Range Blaster for this. You know, because it's got flames on it. I'm a little sad there's no shifty station this time around. I liked the uh, the variety they offered, and it was something fun to look forward to. I wonder if they'll somehow add the shifty stations from Splatoon 2 into this game. Probably not, but it's nice to dream. Where do you think you're going? That's what I thought. Your name is Fryer, and you're not even on Fry's team. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, Reflex. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. They're dead. You don't have to ouch. It's okay. You're safe now. Now, let's just use this to be annoying. Oh, the brush is up there. That's not good. And then I run out of ink. I could somehow increase my ink tank capacity. Get out of here. Sacramento, California. No. Ow. Ow. Oh. Thank you. Lost and found mirror. That sounds like a cursed object. Oh my gosh, I just I just remembered. I'll have to I'll I'll have to mention it whenever I see Dak again. Um but when I played with Dak the other day, his splash tag title was 100% egg. Not not to put Dak on blast, but it's a very good title. But then I had there's a bit in a dream I had last night where another friend of mine decided to pick up Splatoon and their title they got was 450% egg. <laughs> Just, you gotta, you gotta outdo the competition. 450% egg. That's a lot of egg. 
That's like an ostrich egg. I don't really know how you quantify percentage of egg. I'm sorry. Feels unsporting to do that, and also very risky. But there's no splashdown, so I don't have to worry as much. I prefer throwing a bomb, though, if I can. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh-oh. Uh, I think I could use the zip caster as a quick ink tank emergency refill, but then you would still get yoinked back to the spot that you activated on. You activated it on, and while the zip caster is active, your ink tank is always draining. Is that friend by any chance Gaston? No. Gaston is no friend of mine. No matter what all his groupies may claim, that guy has no friends. Come on. Knowing my luck will just bring back Mori Towers. No. No. Disgusting. I'm wearing those final Pam glasses so you can't see the burning hatred in my eyes. But ugh, no. But my catalog is about to hit 100 again. Not that I can roll the gotcha, but... Even from the mystery boxes that you get every 10 catalog levels once you've hit 100 the first time, most of them have been experience tickets. Sometimes I get 100 squid quid. Or not 100, 10,000. <laughs> Man, you can't buy anything with a hundred squid quid. A ten thousand squid quid, but it's still... Well, I was gonna say, it's not great, but you know what? It's better than the tickets. Can't even sell the tickets. Nobody wants the tickets. I'm gonna have a sip of my iced coffee while we wait. Boy, the, the tracking really picks... Up me sipping from a straw, huh? You can see my cheeks puff out. How embarrassing. You know, as a trumpet player, when I first started, I played with my cheeks puffed out, like Dizzy Gillespie. And I didn't know you weren't supposed to do that because no one had corrected me. You know, no one had said, oh, you're actually supposed to, you know, keep your cheeks in con con uh, convex, I guess. Or, sorry, concave, but I didn't know. I eventually corrected the behavior, but it was after quite a long time, because I didn't know. There's some useless Mori trivia for you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, I saw that splatling fall in the water. <laughs> I can't believe I got gaslight, gaslit, gatekeeped, and girl bossed. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Do not go directly at the Splatling Mari. It's interesting doing turf after doing tower control because tower control I'm a lot more methodical and I'll even hang back sometimes, especially if my uh, team needs a chance to respawn. Like, there's instances where I'm the last one left, and instead of trying to charge in, I wait. Let my team come back, and then also get the enemy from behind. Whoop. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I like to think my bomb made them leap into the water. Oh, now I am the girl boss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Maybe I need some, uh, ink saver, ink recovery. I can't wear my precious Orca bol Bolero, though. Well, Splatfest is going on. Oh, nice! Good job, team. Oh, why is my phone going off? Don't do that. Forgot to put on Do Not Disturb. Oops, I'll have to do that after. Kinda wish this this 
face tracker just automatically, like, disabled uh, the vibration and pop-ups and other alerts. So you're not hearing ver- uh-oh. Oh, no. I haven't shown it on stream, but I found out some weeks ago that a splash wall will actually stop a reef slider. And it's very funny to see them just, you know, try and run you over, but then they just hit a, hit a wall. Uh... It's only fun when I'm the girl boss. Also, I fear I may sneeze. Oh. I can feel it coming. I can feel it coming in the nose tonight. Oh, Lord. No, we're, we're, we're okay. We're okay. Oh, okay. Hang on, we're gonna lose tracking for a sec while I turn on Do Not Disturb. Oh, we did it! Uh. <laughs> Why did it leave my, my mouth hanging open? Why did it have to stop there? <laughs> Come on, as if I could lose my dignity anymore. Also, hello, Rue. Actually, I'm gonna pop out of this lobby really quick. And make a new one because my, my catalog is maxed and I think I have to turn that in or I won't get any more conch shells. Oh! I got the, the, the weird trash can! Oh, that's cool. I'll accept that. Okay, hang on. I need to do this first. I got the weird garbo. Now I have a friend to live in my locker. What's it gonna be? Oh, you know what? It's not experience. Oh, you got everything in that catalog? Oh, wow. Oh, here's a new one. Thank you. Keep trucking. Uh, you're definitely not trucking. Just keep after it. No, I don't know why I bought 10 of these. I don't understand what was going through my head. I was I was in here the other day thinking, why are these sold out? And I realized I bought 10. Why did I buy 10 of them? What's wrong with me? Was I planning something that I forgot? You'll have to pass for a bit longer because food is arriving faster than expected. Oh, that's okay. Get your, your Pokeball. You know what I realized? I learned from Judd the other day. Because I've been talking to him because I don't like that exclamation mark bothering me like you're missing something. And he tells you tips about how to use weapons or he'll let you try out certain special abilities or sub-weapons just so you get a feel for them. And I learned from Judd the other day that when you're firing a bucket... Uh, here, let me just demonstrate this. I have, I have, I have the slosher somewhere. Yeah, yeah, here we go. So when you fire normally, it goes straight, right? But I learned from Judd that you can actually uh, do it in an arc like that. Maybe this is obvious, but I didn't know that you could do this. Ugh. Could you do this in Splat too? I don't remember. It's like, oh, I can, I can slosh in a in a line. That's kind of cool. Build a level inside my locker. The boss will be that trash can. I mean, it's got a tentacle coming out of it and everything. Do I want to keep using my Luna? Maybe I should use something else. I don't know what I want to use, though. Let's use the range blaster. Why not? Um, I'll use this. Okay. And I'm going to... I'll just... I'll make a... A regular... I'll just do regular matches for now. Hang on, what's what's this 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 link here? Oh, <laughs> you saved my frozen smug expression. Thanks. <laughs> oh, very good, very good. Okay, hang on. Uh, uh. Come on, mouse. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it made me laugh. So you had to screen cap it. Well, you're welcome. Hang on, I'm gonna have another sip of my iced coffee, but I'm gonna... 
you know, I'm just gonna mute myself. I'm not gonna hide myself. So if I make faces, that's for you. That's a treat for you. I can't, because I look at myself and I start cracking up. <laughs> See me, like, <laughs> sipping the straw, taking a big sippy. Koopa. I'm thinking about Bowser from the cartoons now, like when he was green and had a little crown. I wish I could mimic his voice from the cartoons, but, uh-oh, whoa. There we go. Beppe. Oh. Pfft. Good. Nothing since Saturday like gargling Mori. What does that mean? No, you're not too late for Mori team ups. I started only a little while ago, so you're okay. Oh. Who said you were allowed to have two e leaders? This is illegal. E leaders. Oh. I'm all turned around from using my Luna. I have to remember how to oh, use this blaster. Different range. Oh. Good. You have a theory that the reason Koopa looked like that in Super Show because the animators saw the cover of the first Nintendo Power issue and thought Wart was Bowser. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, like that cartoon was like full of weird, just like continuity errors and inconsistencies, and it was it was a weird. It was a weird show. Of course, Koopa. King Koopa would be using the E-Leader, of course. I would like a sippy. No, it's gonna vanish. Give me the sippy. No, 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 heck. Uh. Good, 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 good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Bad, 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 bad. Good, good, good. I haven't even gotten to use my special. Okay, go. Good. Good. Oh, the Wave Breaker got them. Oh, no. Oh, I got greedy. I got greedy. It's like, ooh, I want to get both E leaders. Did not get both E leaders. Um, would you like to play now, Carrie? I will pop out of this lobby and you can join me if you are, uh... Oh, you've got a room going. Okay. Oh. Ah. Uh... Beppe. I love how expressive this model is so I can appropriately show my disgust for getting splatted by an E-leader. You heard the reason why Samus wasn't in the Captain N show is because the creators didn't know who Samus was. Which is probably for the best, because you're scared of what their interpretation of Samus would have been. What, you mean like... Big Himbo Simon Belmont... Annoying Verbal Tick Mega Man... Um... Whatever was going on with Alucard? You don't understand me, Vampire Dad! That was Captain N, yeah? Okay, I'm gonna pop out of this lobby. And go join Carrie. Sorry, Epic Ben Boy and Waffle. Okay. There she is. Samus would have been mistaken for a guy or would have been made into an angry valley girl. Oh, you got a quad carry! Congratulations! That's very impressive. Did you do it with the sploosh? Sploosh is good for when you just want to go hey, 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 and then run people over. I don't really use it, but I decided to use it like, the other week and realized, you know what? This is fun, especially since the Ultra Stamp isn't terrible anymore. 
Samus could have been a robot. I mean, that still would have been better than whatever Mega Man had going on with the, you know, the, the Mega thing. It's like they just, they didn't know what to do with him. You know, if, if Samus had been in the Captain N show, her name would have been Metroid. <laughs> There's, I think it's the Super Metroid episode of Game Center CX, where Arino refers to her as Roidasan, Roid, <laughs> once. I think, like, during the, the, the last boss or the final escape sequence, and then he's he catches himself and is like, wait, I called her Roid. Leaked Metroid cartoon series concept art. Hang on. <laughs> Dear God. I mean, aside from the fact that they made Samus some generic dude. What is... Is this supposed to be Ridley? What is that? It's like a, like a space bug. Ridley would have been the dentist from Little Shop of Horrors. Well, it would have paired well with Mother Brain. What's just wild to me that I think about sometimes is like the difference in doing like game adaptations in the West versus Japan. And I don't know if this is universal, but I think about like the live action Ace Attorney movie, which I still haven't gotten to see. I'd love to see it. I don't know where I can watch it though. Like with like good subs, I saw it was posted once, but the fan subs were awful. Like, they were really clunky, and also they were really insistent on using everyone's Japanese name, which... Fine, but then you you lose a, a lot of the wordplay. Um, but, uh... Like, all the characters, though, had fairly accurate looks compared to how they were in the games. Like, with their outfits and hair and whatnot. But then you get to, like, Americanized adaptations of stuff, and... The interpretations are usually extremely loose to put it nicely. Where do you think you're going? Stop that. Only flings is allowed or myself or Rue, and that's it. Can I get the quad? Yeah. I mean, it's a very slow quad, but... <laughs> <laughs> Multi kill. We like said in a cute warbly squid voice. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get run over if I don't move. Good, 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 good. Very good. What is going on over there? Oh no, the brush, the brush, the brush. Oh jeez. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Whoa, reef slider. What? What? Oh! My kill streak is over. Shedding a soft teardrop from my kill streak. Mori the term Gator. Whoa! Is that Carrie next to me holding the ultra stamp? I don't know what what uh, gear Carrie's wearing. I'm not sure if she's wearing the headphones. Ah! Woohoo! Mori's the term Gator today. From the look of the drawing, it looks like a fly got into the Leviathan Seed battleship while Ridley was flying off to phase. Wow, 20. <laughs> I think that's a new non-ranked record for me. Very fiery blaster today. I mean, Saucy Boy did good too.
you watched a fan sub many years ago, and the thing that stood out to you was Manfred von Karma saying "effin" written like that. <laughs> I wonder if that was the same fan sub that I got like ten minutes in and just went, "Nope, nope, nope, I can't. It's gonna ruin the movie." Cause like just the they were the subs are written really clunkily. It just felt like something that that comes from people who are like, "No, we are." Better than the official media because we are not censoring things. This is pure. This is good. What's a localization? I don't know what you're talking about. The subs use the English names. Okay, so probably different than the ones I watched. But yeah, I can't imagine Von Karma saying effin' in any universe. I mean, not not the full version of effin' either, but just... Whoa, did it just absorb my bomb? Or I guess it maybe landed inside it, but it just looked like it just absorbed it and blew it up from the inside. Okay. I see, I see that Beavis over there. Or is that one butt I'm not sure which is which. I just see the heh <laughs> fire. Where do you think you're going? Oh, Luna Blaster. I mean respect for using a good weapon. And I need some ink recovery. Like, ink recovery up. <sighs> but I can't use my precious Orca Bolero. Bolero? Bolero? I'm not sure how you're supposed to say it. Oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Ooh, oh. Well, thank you for backing me up, Carrie. I'm sorry I didn't live. Red for swords makes me think of Fighter from 8-Bit Theater. Because of the swords and the red hair. I never did get to finish reading 8-Bit Theater. It's been so many years, but Fighter, best boy. still over there. Whoop. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Oh. Where do you think you're going? No works. I keep shooting the pillar. Oh, dangerous to all cluster together like that. Nice, nice, nice. No, no splat. Still no splat. Where are they? Oh. There we go. Carrie! And splatting Carrie is like shooting a kitten, you know? Like, how dare you? Carrie's just here to ink turf and have a good time. Oh, 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 oh. Ed Warded sounds like the name of, like, a, I don't know, a, an occultist or a vampire hunter or something. Or, like, his name is Edward, but his business is Edwarded? I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm workshopping this. Oh, oh. Where do you, where do you think you're going? Uh oh. Never mind, we good. We good. I'm gonna take another sip of your iced co my iced coffee, not your iced coffee. Although, if you do have iced coffee, perhaps keep it safe. Um, excuse my facial expressions. Okay, there we go. They didn't put enough cream in this. It's a little bitter. Oh well. I could add milk, but I don't want to. It made you think of Fighter 2. I'm so glad. Great minds. You can't help but think Francisco only started using variations of Fool 
after being constantly punished in her early childhood for dropping non-stop F-bombs. Where would she have learned this, though? Although it is kind of funny to, th to imagine Fool being a uh, replacement for another word. I love that not fighter McSword Guy. Was that his name, McSword Guy? Um, or McSwordington or something? Is uh, using the ink brush? That feels like a good sword weapon. Yes, I know he could be using the Splatana, but that's an Eastern sword. Totally different. Until we had the Splatana, the ink brush was the most swordy weapon you could get. S sworded weapon, if you will. King Crew. Almost King Crew, but not quite. Although King Crew sounds like what King K. Rool might call himself, of like his latest adventure involved him being a DJ. King K. Rool starts a nightclub. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Jeez. Uh-oh. That's a crab. Yeah, you stopped that kinky rule. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh. oh, never mind. I got taken away. <laughs> Yeeted back into the abyss. Oh, no. Crab, crab, crab. da 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 Come on, hit them. Oh. Oh. Uh oh, I'm out of ink. Oh, that wasn't gonna end well. My rival. I've decided they are my rival. You know, I realize I've barely used my precious ink brush in quite some time. I should rectify this at some point. Maybe not right now, because I'm having fun with the range blaster and, you know, team team fire represent and all that. Oh! <laughs> Oops. The one and only forehead. Sometimes I think about mixing up my title, but I have overheated heat hater and it's too good to pass up. I got overheated and heat haters separately, but when I realized I had them both, I knew what I had to do. No. And it's true, I overheat really easily, and I hate the heat. Oh, there's a crab. Good. Nice work, team. is not great at inking turf, so I really gotta... Uh-oh. Back it up, back it up. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Get him, Carrie! Heck him up! Saved by the bell. More iced coffee, more faces. Yes, I could hide myself, but I don't want to deprive you all of the unintentional comedy of me drinking iced coffee. Also, woohoo! Good job, team! There we go. Yeah. I wonder what other emotes they're going to add for the next catalog. I mean, they've already added a dab. Where could they possibly go from here? There's nowhere to go but down. Or, conversely, one could argue that the dab is rock bottom. Also, Pigeon Peep is a cute name. I like that name. Cuckoo. 
I feel like fighter would be an inkling and not an octoling because inklings are dumb and impulsive and that fits fighter's vibe much better. Folks these days even familiar with 8-bit theater. I mean, obviously I know Carrie is. The Macarena was shown during the pre-release. Oh yeah, no, I last time I streamed Splatfest, I found someone doing the Macarena in the square. Um, like, it's not one-to-one, -one, the Macarena. The steps are a little different in parts. Like they, they don't do, like, the hip shake. But it's, it's the Macarena. And there were jellyfish doing it with them, which is just precious. Where do you think Lil Judd is? I mean, he apparently shows up in table turf, but I haven't played enough table turf to get there. It's like 21 years old and what? No. Really? Impossible. No, don't say things like that. <laughs> Lil Judd was taken to a farm. Lil Judd hanging out in the Grizzco rafters. God, I hope so. I mean, you can see a cat bowl or like a little food dish in one of the lockers. And the backs of his cards in Table Turf have a Grizzco theme. So, he must be there somewhere. Maybe he's there hoping for like fish leftovers. Like free food. Inklings bringing back salmonid scraps. Come on, there we go. Oh, someone's boost from the juice. Uh-oh, I did not mean to fall down here. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Hi, Rai fam! I think the Macarena is much older than 21. How old is the Macarena? Or is that just... Just... No one knows when it was invented, and it's just always been in, like, humanity's collective unconscious. Was Carl Young aware of the Macarena? Asking the real questions here. Grizz is the one who took Little Judd to the farm. No, Mr. Grizz adopted Little Judd. Like, he's gotta factor into the DLC, right? He's, uh oh, he's gotta. Like, we all know Little Judd is up to, up to something. The Macarena was from 93? That doesn't seem right. That seems too young. Yeah, 93 seems way too early for the Macarena. That thing has to be ancient. There must be, like, Mesopotamian fertility rituals based around the Macarena. I, I, I can't read the Wikipedia article right now, but I, I will look at it after the match. It can't be. Get out of here. Like, was it derived from anything? Who invented it? I mean, obviously it probably says on the Wikipedia page. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck! Ugh. The craze was later, but the original song is 93. I don't like thinking Macarena had a craze. Oh, people crazy about the Macarena. And there is a post from the uh, the Squid Research Lab, which is like the official um, Splatoon 3 uh, like Twitter account, saying how um, the dab is an artifact, not an artifact, but something left over from humanity's history. And it's weird to think about that, oh, there's a jellyfish dancing on a crane in the corner. Do you see it? Um, that the dab has survived thousands of years throughout humanity's decline. And that the Macarena has too. Okay, hang on, I need to I need to look at this Wikipedia article. Macarena is a dance song by Spanish pop duo Los Del Rio. Sorry, Los Del Rio. Los Del Rio. Sorry. How do you say I'm sorry in Spanish? My brain is like, je suis désolé. I'm like, no, that's French. Lo sientos? 
um, about a woman of the same name. I did not know that Macarena is a name. The song uses a type of clave rhythm, originally appearing in the 1993 album Ami Me Gusta. I don't believe it. Became an international hit, inspired a dance craze in the latter half of 96 and part of 97. This can't be right. I mean, it's here. It must be right. But it just, it feels wrong somehow. I think the Macarena has to be ancient. Like, it's a, it's a lost summoning ritual. Lo siento. <laughs> you have a Macarena shirt? Also, uh, uh, wait, gracias. I was gonna say grazie, but I'm like, wait, no, that's Italian. All these romance languages are just blending together in my head. Uh, that Leroy Jenkins on the other team. Speaking of old memes, I, I didn't catch what weapon they're using, but if Leroy Jen Jenkins is not using the sploosh, then Cod is dead. That's the most Leroy Jenkins weapon out there. Uh oh. <laughs> Your end fell off. Like, you use the sploosh and you just want to rush in and cause chaos. Well, they're using the splash o -matic. I'll, I'll allow it, it's close. You see, the splash o I feel, has dignity. I like the splash matic I think it's one of my most consistent weapons. But... It's too accurate for Leroy Jenkins. Fire is so silly, it makes people dance when I let it kiss them. I guess dance is one way of interpreting that. Uh-oh. Leroy Jenkins is trying to crab me. Stop that. Uh-oh. Ow. Oh. Official Grisco comic relief. So I'm sure you're all very aware of how Twitter is imploding. Which, I mean, stupid billionaire ought to get what's coming to him, but also so many people depend on it for their livelihoods, especially artists and other creators, because that's how they network. And it's just easier to converse with people casually through Twitter versus like Tumblr or something. I'm gonna have to start posting art in Tumblr again. But Grisco Official makes me think of like one of those parody accounts taking advantage of the $8 check mark to sow chaos. Can you stop trying to shoot me, please? Jeez. No. No. Mm. Ugh. <sighs> Oh no, rip. Yeah. The uh, Twitter situation is, is frustrating for a lot of reasons. Um, and it's just like, stupid idiot billionaire has a temper tantrum after making poor business decisions and now like a lot of the artistic community is having to suffer for it. I mean, it's just handy having these things centralized, you know? I didn't have to splat that charger and it would have been more effective to focus on inking turf, but I had to do it anyway. You understand, right? <laughs> Paint your wagon with blood. Now that sounds more like a Western. Oh, so close, 0.3%. I do like that Leroy Jenkins is just another maniac. That seems appropriate. I guess I should start posting on Tumblr again. I still use it, like, all the time, but I just don't post. Maybe that would be a good way to post about my streams, because, again, I don't really advertise. And part of it is I don't really know how to go about it in a way that isn't weird or invasive and makes me feel scummy. 
That's what I want for my birthday. Spread the word about my streams. Help me build an audience. Hello, Savayan. Oh, so it is, yeah, it is Sawayan. It's hard to read their name when they're running around, but I could read it in the corner, I guess. It's more sensible. You just don't advertise. <laughs> I mean, I've been really lucky that I've sort of built an audience just by people finding my channel, just through searching up the games that I play and then deciding to stick around, which I am extremely grateful for. Carrie's really swell too. Carrie is streaming tonight. Um, and she also streams on Thursdays. <laughs> Hello, Capotico. What you mean? You're an okay audience. I think you're pretty good. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, the first stream you showed up for was Donkey Kong Country 2, which is one of my absolute favorite games of all time. So clearly, you have excellent taste. A traveling wares vendor. Are they streaming? Maybe that's what I should stream someday, is Resident Evil 4. I've never played it. I've heard it's great. I'm a big baby when it comes to horror games. My god, I just splatted... Well, I was gonna say I splatted Mr. Grizz, but he's not a brown bear, he's a grizzly. It's fine. I mean, presumably. That's the biggest twist of all. Is that Mr. Grizz is not a grizzly bear. He's like, I don't know, a sun bear or something. You think you're going? Oh, get crabbed. Get crabbed. Or get get blasted. That works too. Oh, hello. Where do you think you're going? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hang on, I take that back. I'd like to rescind my statement. Oh. Yeah, you came from Mario RPG, which is also, you stuck around for a really, very long time, because so that was like, the stuff that I have archived on YouTube, that's like, I think the third stream series there after Hollow Knight and Pikuniku. So again, extremely grateful that you stuck around. Even when I stream non-Mario things. Although that reminds me that I need to see if I can get my Wii U hooked up to my capture card for reasons. Uh-oh. Resident Evil games are fun. The later ones are more ridiculous B-movie action horror. As, as long as, like, me being a big baby wouldn't just ruin the experience for everyone. I mean, I think streaming it would be okay. It'd be a little less uh, unsettling if I'm streaming it. So I know I'm not alone. But I don't really like which is a common horror game trope, because I don't like being chased. That stresses me out real bad. Real bad. I don't drop roll. What do you think you're doing? Stop that. Uh-oh. No sippy for you. No, no sippy. You love the entire Donkey Kong Country OG trilogy. Have a nostalgic fondness for three, but two is just too solid in its mechanics and design. I concur. It's just, it feels so good to play. The music's great. The levels are just fun. Like, I would just replay levels for the heck of it. <laughs> I am dazzling this round. Well, you missed the round where I got 20 splits. <laughs> Yay, good job, team. What is Mario Music Box? I know there was some, like, I think RPG Maker Mario horror game that I'd seen bits of on a YouTube uh, playthrough before. But it was, like, dark and edgy and completely disconnected from Mario as a series, except Mario was the main character. And it was... 
not not knocking the creator's hard work at all because making a game is an incredibly involved process but it was it was a peculiar thing to witness i don't know if it's mario's music box i don't remember what it was called like it had original artwork like cgs and all of that how you doing carrie where's carrie there she is there she goes. Mario Music Box is a fusion of Corpse Party and Mario, huh? It's not as, like, weirdly misogynistic as Corpse Party is, yeah? I read a Let's Play of the first Corpse Party once, because I was curious. And it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth, just because the violence seemed to happen disproportionately to the girls. It was always described in a lot more detail with the girls and of course like oh here's you know like casual sexual assault between girls but it's totally fine you know we, we definitely know how to write girls i recognize that it's just not for me oh mm, it's not for me either i guess that's my spicy game take today I mean, on Team Fire, I should be all about those spicy takes. Mm. I'm gonna go up here. Don't, don't... Tend to missile me right when I'm climbing. Rude. Ah! Get him, Carrie, get him, get him. Oh, I'm sorry, I put too much pressure on her. Calamari taste tester? Oh, no. I didn't catch if they were an inkling or an octo. I mean, either way, I'm, I'm concerned. Yesterday, I saw someone with the tag Hungry Hungry Humanity. Vega lasagna. Maybe it's vegan lasagna. Maybe it's the constellation lasagna. Maybe it's the Street Fighter character. Ah, oh, heck. <laughs> sure, a tag title. Corpse Party having misogynistic writing doesn't seem like much of a hot take. But you also don't know a terrible amount of its re reputation outside of it being more of a niche interest. I mean, the interesting thing about Corpse Party is that, like, as a series, it's been around for a long time. I think it was, like, a, a PC-98 game or something first? And it's had many ports and sort of remakes and, like, changes to its story, I believe. I forget. I think the version I saw a Let's Play or read a Let's Play of was the PSP version. I might be misremembering. Um... Uh oh, 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 rip. Pretty much all of the violence in Mario Music Box involves Mario and Luigi being on the receiving end. So I think different then than the whatever the Mario horror game I encountered was. Because I don't remember if Luigi factored into it. It was just Mario, it was like the playable character. Like the the story was like Mario was the protagonist, but there were all these non-Mario characters involved. I can't remember what it's called, and it's bugging me. Curses. Time for another sip of my iced coffee. So if you weren't here before, uh, well, my, never mind, my face will do the talking. I don't bother hiding myself while I drink my iced coffee, and it looks silly, ugh. I did not put enough cream in that. Whoa. Bitter. Blech. Going fast. Well, that kind of makes me not want to use a roller until I scrub my shirt. Uh, I'll stick I'll stick with my blaster for now. I don't like sweet. It just needs more cream to uh counteract the bitterness. This is an unsweetened iced coffee. 
I think having syrup or sugar in iced coffee is disgusting. And if that's how you like it, that's okay. But personally, ugh, I don't. <laughs> drinks black coffee in front of Maury. Hey, did you all know Carrie drinks her coffee black? It's hardcore. I, Carrie is very tiny and adorable and drinks her coffee black. Hardcore. I have to drink mine with cream. I don't really like drinking coffee. I'm a tea gal. But I do like iced coffee. And I needed to wake up today. <laughs> Probably dries a flame painted Harley Davidson too. Well, I know what vehicle Carrie needs. <laughs> you drink coffee for the caffeine, not the taste. Do you ever drink, like, other caffeinated beverages, like, say, yerba mate or, you know, matcha, for instance? I know tea doesn't have as much caffeine as coffee per serving, but I just like the flavor better. Oh, dear. Oh, swooshed out of there. Good thing I have those, uh, a couple super jump, quick super jump ability slots. Nice! When I think about drinking coffee for the caffeine... I mean, I'm sure you know Rai Family, uh, that episode of Futurama where everybody gets that $300 rebate and Fry uses it to drink 100 cups of coffee. And after the 100th cup, like, everything is in slow motion and he's just serenely walking through, like, this party that's on fire. Like, just blissed out. Entering a higher state of awareness. Trying to cut down on coffee in the afternoon will be green tea. That's good. Cutting down, I think, on caffeine can be really difficult. So, I'm proud of you for doing it. I know at my job, I see... We often see, like, the same customers multiple times a day. And... I'm not gonna say alarming, but it's more like... How do you drink this much caffeine on a regular basis? I, I find caffeine it doesn't really wake me up. I, I feel, like, jittery, but still tired. Oh. You do know that episode. I figured you would. Ugh. You need coffee in the morning. Ice cream tea in the afternoon is tasty. It is! Do you make your own, or do you get it from elsewhere? Oosh. Where do you think you're going? Young squid. Uh-oh. Oh, nope, we're good. Caffeinated beverages just make you punchy. Like, punchy isn't excited, or punchy is, I need an inflatable clown doll to fight. <laughs> you will visit an establishment that serves it when you do go into the office. Are you still working from home, primarily? Some people just like having their identity consist of being that person who comes into place too much. It's true, honestly. Like, I've seen people get really obsessive about, like, say, merchandise from the coffee shop I work at. Like, to the point where I've seen people waiting outside for us to open so they can come in and buy, like, the cups that have come in. And then they get angry when we don't have whatever they wanted in stock. You come into the office two or three days a week. You like to change your scenery. I've heard some people say that, and also that it's easier to focus in an office, because there's less distractions around. But only having to commute a couple times a week is much more tolerable, and probably better for the environment, too. You will say you've been taking to a cup of coffee with a little hazelnut creamer. How is that? I am, I am allergic to hazelnuts, so... 
I will never know, or I could know, but then I might have to like stab myself with an EpiPen and I prefer not to. <laughs> Easier to focus. That's what I've heard. Are you 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 having a, a party without me? A little hoot nanny? You use public transportation when commuting. That's good. I mean, I can't imagine having to pay for parking. Like, knowing what the rights are to park downtown. And I'm sure it's true for any city. It's disgusting. And then paying for gas and your car upkeep. Ugh, no thanks. Heavy dog. I'm heavy weapons dog. I saw a post earlier that was like, it was a, a picture from, I think, like a Toho Dojinshi with Marisa saying like, oh, but we're girls, wouldn't it be weird? And someone commenting like, you're a Toho, you're all girls. And then someone asked, what's, what's like a Toho but with boys? And then someone responded with just a picture of Team Fortress 2. I thought, yeah, that tracks. I mean, they've even got hats. It's perfect. Uh-oh, that, that didn't work like I wanted it to. <laughs> you can't argue with it, can you? They shoot? They got hats? Right? I don't think Toho is like completely bereft of not girls. I think there's like what two guys or something in all of Toho. I'm not sure Carrie would know. But we also we don't know what gender Pyro is, so maybe it's perfect. I gotta stop thinking about this now and actually like splat good. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't like going over this hill. No, 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 no. Oh, Sippy! Sippy! Need some juice? I'm sorry I call it a Sippy. I saw someone else call it a Sippy earlier. No, I can't. I can't not. It's terrible. Poisoned my brain. Ah, oh, what the heck? Got me. Oh. Better question, is Pyro even human? Maybe Pyro is a Toho. I mean, we don't know what they do in their spare time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's it. Get stuck in the wall. Get st <laughs> Oh, I love it when there's like a traffic jam. Well, it's not really a traffic jam, I guess. Though, you ever see Reef Slider to Reef Slider combat? That's funny. Where do you think you're going? Away from me, I guess. Which is, which is sensible. Get up, get up, don't get stuck down there. Uh-oh. Whoa, we're okay. We're okay. Hang on. Uh, it's not really an effective use of my time to chase this person down, but whatever. Uh. Based on the Meet the Pyro video, your money's on Eldritch Demon. <laughs> I haven't seen those videos in a long time, gosh. But I just, I love, I haven't ever gotten to play Team Fortress 2, but I love this whole, like, demented Pixar aesthetic compared to so many other competitive shooters which are just, you know, realistic, brown, gritty, dull. You know, aside from Fortnite, but this was the pre-Fortnite days. And it's just goofy. I appreciate that. I respect that. That was close. Distressingly close. But we did it. I'm very proud. How many, how many guys, how many, I guess, how many not girls are in Toho? Team Fortress 2 looks like it would be fun to play, but I don't think I'd want to play with randos. I just feel uncomfortable. And I, I feel- I don't want to get harassed by randos. And it's like, well, okay, either you don't do voice chat and you're at a disadvantage. Or you do voice chat and people harass you if you're not a guy. And of course not everyone does, but I don't want to risk it. 
My mental health does not need that. Thank you. On a side note, I've been told that my voice is a dead giveaway for me. I think I've mentioned this on stream before, but I, I went to a coffee shop this morning to get the iced coffee that's been making me uh, do weird faces whenever I take a sip between rounds. And I hadn't been in there in a while, but the barista recognized me because of my voice. <laughs> Even though I had like my winter coat and my, my mask on and everything. I guess my glasses might also give me away too, but... Like, yeah, your voice is really distinctive. You remember you played Team Fortress 2 obsessively when it went free-to-play. Haven't played it in some time. Love making Gmod videos with them, though. I didn't know you've, you've done that, Caputico. That's cool. Where do you think you're going? Stop it. There we go. You had a really sweet team on Team Fortress 2 once. You must elaborate. Although, obviously, not when you're spotting. Unless you can, like, paint your response on the ground in ink. You can't hide from me. Oh. Four not girls if you include the PC-98 turtle? <laughs> I guess so. Like, are they humanoid at all, or are they just like, uh-oh. A turtle. <laughs> Bad, but, oh, that was really funny. I did that on Salmon Run once, when I could have saved my team, but I forgot that the, uh... Like, A, when you, you press the button to detonate the reef slider, it takes, like, a half second to come to a stop, and also that it doesn't automatically stop when you reach the edge of the level. So I just, uh, rode that pool shark into the drink. I'm so sorry, team. I don't like getting the pool shark in Salmon Run very much. Because the utility is limited in some ways. Like, if I can't get fly fish with this, what's the point? Maybe if you detonate beneath a fly fish, but probably not. I wouldn't risk wasting it, especially because fly fish are always at the edge of the stage, so you're probably gonna go in the drink anyway. Actually, the triple ink strike also sucks. Like, it can get fly fish if you hit them directly, but it just it seems like so weak, and the area it covers is tiny. Good job, Carrie! Destroy! Fresh! Don't do what I did. Always count the turtles. Like those little turtles in, in Prodigal. They're just vibing, and then I trapped one in a block like a monster the other day. Time for iced coffee. I don't know enough about My Little Pony. Would Fluttershy use an arrow spray. From your experience, the Booyah Bomb is one of the better powers in Salmon Run. It's good, except for when it gets caught on something. Um, for instance, try to throw a Booyah Bomb at, say, a fly fish in the distance, but it catches the side of a fish stick, and then it detonates on the fish stick and does nothing. You also like iced coffee. You won't burn yourself in drinking iced coffee. Unless it's really, really icy. In my defense, if it didn't want to be stuck, it should learn a direction outside of horizontal, vertical teeter-totter. That's true. That's true. But I mean, it's a turtle. It doesn't know much of the world. It's probably spent its whole life patrolling that room in the dungeon. Those poor turtles need enrichment. Think of the turtles. Can we get like a sequel where somebody gets one of those turtles as a pet? Oh, 
Also, I haven't commented on it until now, but I like your title of Elegant Berserker, Carrie. That's very evocative, I think. It kind of makes- it's not Berserker exactly, but it makes me think of, of Saber from Fates, like the OG Saber with her, her battle gown and a big sword. Wow. I was only going for the roller, but I'll take it. Nice, nice, nice. Where's number four? There they are. There they go. Oh. Too little too late. Feels so bad when you're just slightly too late to save a teammate. Uh-oh. There we go. Good, good, good. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Never mind. Hat Squid is wearing a hat, right? I didn't check. But if they're not, I can be very disappointed. I'm gonna file a report the the the, the Barnacle Business Bureau for false advertising. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Man, they're just rolling. I feel kind of bad menacing rollers that like don't even flick the roller. They just run around. Uh oh. Like, they're just- they're here for a good time. They're just here to ink turf. Hey. That's what I thought. How long do I have before somebody comes at me from up here? I thought it was safe because I could. Okay, they are wearing a hat. I could see, you know, that that hammer had worn out, but I forgot there were two splooshomatics, two hammers. Did you know, in the Japanese version of A Link to the Past, the the hammer item is called the MC Hammer? It's true. You do like this stage, you're generally falling into the water an embarrassing amount of times per round, but it's fun. I mean, you're just going for a swim. What's not fun about that? Whoop. Oops. I've definitely gone to the drink playing tower control um, more times than I would like to admit because the layout is different in tower control and there's more water in the middle of the stage, which when I first did tower control there I didn't realize until I swam into it. Here's how you see it. If you don't ink rollers at their most vulnerable, they won't hesitate to do the same when they jump fire. But that's the thing, they're not jump firing, they're just rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. You're welcome, Carrie. If I go quiet and I start making faces, you know why. At some point, I gotta play WarioWare with this model up so you can see the faces I make. I wonder if I should change weapons. Well, I'm not sure what I would change to. Oh, Red Shadow's got the, uh... Ends up. Oh good, we can have some juice. Play Warrior where you have no input on weapons. But if you had an input on a weapon, I would listen. Same model with one change, Wario mustache, my god. <laughs> I'm not sure VC face. Actually no, I think it does. I'm gonna just look at this in the background. You're gonna see some like stuff beside me, don't worry about it. Oh yeah, okay, there's there's a, a props button. So I could append I could just draw a little Wario mustache and a little hat and append it. What is that name? The one using- well, the- the not Carrie using the sploosh. Carrie 
carry generally just rolls, so no one's surprised. That's what I mean. Like, splatting carry feels like splatting a kitten. She's just here for a good time. Oh no! They fell in the water before they could distribute juice. We're gonna get dehydrated. Good, 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 good. Out of ink. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, bad. You see it happen a second before you explode, but there's nothing you can do. There we go. If their name's just player, have they not given themselves a name yet? Oh, it's up there. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna get it. I want the benefits of juice. There we go. Thank you for the juice. I once played with a rando that I had the end zap, and every time they took a, a juice from my tacticaler, they say booyah. It was very cute. Like, You're welcome. What the? There we go. That took longer than it should have. This is gonna sound really silly. I don't usually watch Jerma, um, but I saw the other day bits of him playing Breath of the Wild, which is a riot. And uh, he kept getting shot by guardians in the back and yet wouldn't die. And I don't know how, I have no idea. Like he was just surviving with half a heart despite multiple shots to the back. Just desperately trying to run through a field and getting obliterated. And that's what I felt like trying to shoot that little player with their, their splatter shot junior. Repeated shots to the back and yet somehow they're still trucking. It's their first match. I feel bad. I mean, it it's, might not be their first first. They might just not have... They decided, I don't want to... I don't want to pick my name yet. That's too much pressure. Oh. It's a cool cowboy name, Django Jane. Uh oh. There we go. Good work, team. So clean. Very good round, I agree. Carrie, truly an elegant berserker. Ba -ba -ba. Oh yeah, not to put anyone else on the spot regarding their uh, splash tags. But I saw the other day that Joe's used to be spicy Big Boss, but now it's stealthy Big Boss. So the transition to full Metal Gear fan is complete. 18-1, that's pretty good. Oh, they only got 120. I'm sorry, little friend. Maybe it was their first match, but I have, I have no way of knowing. Can't even see people's levels anymore, which I think is part of the reason why I don't know what purpose the experience boosting tickets serve after a point. Because uh, once you hit level 30, you have access to all the weapons, you have access to the biggest locker. How do you read your name? Um, and you can't even see players' levels anymore, so it doesn't even give you like a ballpark idea of how long they've been playing. Oh! Here we go. I like it when it's a hundred times, because you, or maybe it's only, can you get a hundred? Yeah, a hundred and, or three, three, three. You get these like dramatic drums. I don't know if it's gonna happen. So I don't know if I'll be able to point it out. Curious to see if they've uh, fixed the tricolor matchmaking so I can actually do like more than one. I've seen some people 
Not very many, but I've seen a couple people that have the uh, the gold badge you can get for like successfully winning like ten tricolor matches. I keep thinking, how did you get to play ten tricolor matches? Go 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 go! I know you're over there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Twice fan, once shy. Or however that goes. What better way to introduce someone to Splatoon than by getting curb stomped by me? No! I don't want to set them up for pain. It's harder to tell when someone is new to the game in 3 since you can't see their levels. Like, if when they're no longer player, then you can't really ascertain anymore if they're, they're baby or not. But in Splat 2, if I had babies on my team, I'd get really protective. Like, no, we have to win for them. I want them to have a good time. I want them to love this game. Pew. Bruh. Oh, when I was going through screen caps on my Switch the other day, I found I had taken one of a, a Splat Brella player in Splat 2 named Brahla, which is good. Shout out to you, Brahla, wherever you are. Already giving you pain watching how much better at splatting than you are. Well, to be fair, I've played a lot more. An embarrassing amount. This is a good de-stress game. De-stress game as I get clobbered by a paintbrush. De-stress! Like, it's good for just turning your brain off, I think. Especially doing turf. It's good for, like, shooting the breeze with friends, too. Just splatting while we talk. There we go. Is there someone behind me? What? Birdie! I didn't know we were still playing Mario Golf Hall. That wasn't a good time to get splatted. I don't think I'm going to be able to jump up in time to do anything. Nope. But I'm here. Moral support. Coffee time. Oh, we did it! That was a close one. I wasn't sure if we had it. Good job, team. And I totally forgot it was a ten times battle. Yatta! High five, Carrie! I just- I had to clap, so, you know, imagine. Yay. Stages are gonna rotate in like nine minutes, so I can scrub my shirt and also see what uh, garbage I get from the gotcha machine. <laughs> you clapped too, I'm very glad. Our remote high five. Uh, we lost our other swoosh with the unpronounceable name. But we still have the juice dispenser. Thank you, Red Shadow. This is maybe like like red for swords. This is fighters like Edgelord version. Like Shadow the Hedgehog. Man, I wanna try Sonic Frontiers. And everything is so expensive and I've already I pre-ordered Pokemon Violet as my birthday present. Cause I I wanna see all the new Pokemon before I get spoiled. And I want a little pepper gator. But I have to think about what to call it. You think it was Swiffe? I mean that like that's what it looked like. Oh my gosh, look at look at the cow moji face in the other team that's like throwing a ball. <laughs> Maybe that's them throwing a booyah bomb or something. Team Violet represent. The only reason I've picked Violet is because I always get the cool colored games. That's it. And I didn't want to break tradition. Even if I don't really like, like, the hipster professor design.
Oh, posture check, thank you. Uh, hang on. It's kind of an incomplete posture check. I gotta do it more after the match. I really appreciate the posture checks because of how bad my, my back has been. Like, even more so than usual lately. I gotta find time to try and see my doctor next week to see what the x-rays I got of my back say. Maybe we can take some more decisive action to prevent further back pain. Because my job is just destroying my back, regrettably. Oh, juice! No, I'm gonna get run over by the roller, but I need the juice! <laughs> It was not worth it. It was not worth it. You know, you know why I say sippy? I remember now where I saw it. It was a Tumblr post or someone saying, every time somebody deploys the tacticooler, I need I need a little sippy. Even if I get splatted immediately, it's like, you know, my, my brain shuts off and it's like, I need the sippy. Ugh. Love getting people from behind walls. Perks of blasters. Oh. Good, good, good. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Squish. <laughs> Was the post made by someone named Mississippi? Well, they should have been. That's what their, their name should be now. I think you need to make a game, Capotico, and then have, like, an NPC who sells you beverages that give you buffs and have them name be Mississippi. That's a free idea for you. Uh. What is going on here? Pain. 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 Oof. Sorry, team. Sorry, I can hear Cosmo <laughs> eating his food. Distract from the pain of loss by looking over at my cat. If you made a game, it would be the most unhinged collection of stupid, absurdist, dry humor that only you and about 0.001% of society would find amusing. Day one purchase. Day one purchase. Ugh, number one in consumer. I'm the most wasteful one here, obviously. I mean, look at this gun. It's not good for the environment. Like, this thing, you can tell it's spewing exhaust fumes. You know, no, I'll, I'll, I'll keep the blaster. It's, uh... We'll get, like, one, maybe two more matches in before rotation, so... I'll keep the range blaster. Why not? Eh. Have you mostly been using the sploosh carry? When I think about a weapon I associate with you, well, I, I think of your 52 gal, but that was in Splat 1, mostly. And I think of the, uh... Let's see, the variant of the Splatter Shot Junior from Splat 2. I don't remember what it's called, but the one that has the Ink Storm and the Auto Bomb. All of the exhaust emitted by the Range Blaster is safely contained in the atmosphere. Skill issue. <laughs> I thought their name was Skill Sue. My my horrible gotcha luck is definitely a skill issue.
No. I got no time to mourn. Sippy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Stuck. 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 Uh. All right. Well, that kind of worked. I definitely did not contribute to that. Uh oh. Oh no. There were two rollers. <laughs> Skill issue, huh? Probably fun at parties. One of the other names I spotted in my old screenshots was... It was written in Japanese, but it was, uh... Their name was basically, like, Crappy Aim God. I feel like that's the old version of Skill Issue. Kusou Aim no Kami-sama was their name. I see you down there. like, hit you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bloodshed. I just witnessed a massacre. Sorry, a, a, a splatisker. That's right. <laughs> no. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where'd they go? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, they were just clinging to the wall and I was a fool. Thank you. <laughs> oh no. Uh, it's, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Oh, no. Oh, it's gonna be really sad if we lose. Because <laughs> they were in danger before then. Okay, I gotta go scrub my shirt. I'll probably go for a little bit longer and then take a break. Good job, team! Got a little dicey near the end there, but we did it. Avaricious Raider. Like a treasure hunter? Very good team. Throws me off that the rotations are now on like the odd hours ever since daylight savings. Okay, time to scrub my shirt and also check out my garbage gotcha luck. Maybe I'll get something good. Maybe all of you are my good luck charm. Okay. Oh, it's red. That's actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll use it. It's like a bunch of eels. Let's do it. Although that puts away the banner that I spent like 250 scales on. Notice my title, got the reference, again impressed by my reference game. I thought maybe a Doors reference is a little too obscure, but... <laughs> it was the, the first thing that popped into my head and I had to use it. Am I free now, Judd? Thank you. You got a book on Squid Evolution. You think even Squid Society has, like, those creationism versus evolution debates? I mean, even though there's all this evidence. I mean, yeah, of course, even if there's all this evidence. There's still gonna be people being like, no. Uh... God, what a mess. Oh, beloved Orca Bolero. I can't wear you right now. Okay, um... Scrubbing shirt, that's what I had to do. Not shops, I had to scrub my shirt. Um, hang on, I'm gonna... Look at this little baby! That's really good. See, big man is big mad. 
I love the little baby jellies. They're my favorite. Although I also really like the ones that just have, like, glow sticks shoved in their head. Baby is asleep. Splatfest quietly, please. Anyway, here's the one doing the Macarena, if you haven't seen them. All of them have really good songs. The Macarena lives on. Hang on. I need to... I love the little babies eating bow. You eating bow too. I want to find one that has glow sticks shoved in its head. More like evidence. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to report that because it's making me laugh. There we go. I mean, I don't know how you're going to get those out. Maybe they're just there permanently now. Oh, I'm gonna hydrate, by which I mean iced coffee again. <laughs> I'll also fix my posture gratis. Yeah. Okay. Sippy. That cracks me up every time. Okay. I'm gonna clean this. And maybe I'll use a roller before I get run speed up, inevitably. Do I want to clean anything else right now? I'll just leave it. So apparently all the headgear from Salmon Run, so this brain strainer and this bream brim cap and uh, these shades, they're all Back to the Future references. So I'm not sure what Splatoon is trying to... Uh, Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure what Splatoon is trying to communicate. Maybe, okay, here's here's my theory. The DLC is about um, maybe Lil Judd going back in time to assassinate Big Judd. Except, no, because he's a clone, so if he assassinated Big Judd, he would cease to exist. Maybe they want to reverse the decision of Chaos versus Order. Or maybe, maybe Lil Judd wants to reverse... Cats versus dogs. So, uh, in order to cement Cats' victory. Do you eat another one of these? Carrie, do you want to keep going? Um, I haven't really used the regular splat roller a lot. I love the carbon with that stupid... Zipcaster, ooh, ooh. Fling's a big favorite, though. Assuming that is the case, you will start a petition to call the DLC Final Judgment. <laughs> Very good. Um, no, yeah, heck it. Let's just use the regular splat roller. Why not? Um, run speed up. I don't want run speed up. Maybe I should scrub this, too. I don't have to use swim speed up, I guess. Um. Oh, what do I want to use? You know what? Heck it. Quick jump. I like these glasses. And... These are the only shoes I have a swim speed of. That's a travesty. Um. It's so hard going from Splatoon 2 to 3. And I no longer have access to my best pieces of gear. Why can't I take them with me to Splatsville? Whatever, I'll keep, I'll keep these. You just let your slots be whatever they end up being. I think that's, that's fair. Okay, I'm gonna make a, a lobby. Mostly, it's just I don't want to use run speed up while I'm using a roller because... It doesn't affect your run speed. So when you're rolling like this, uh, no matter how much run speed up you stack, you won't run faster. You will run faster when your roller is not deployed. So if I have run speed up stacked, I would run faster like this. 
I remember once seeing footage of someone in Splatoon 2 doing ranked as a dynamo roller with a bunch of run speed up stacked. And so they would just run behind people and whack them, which was pretty funny. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneeze again. Hang on. There she is. No, no. Try to stop the sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. They could go with a Terminator parody by sing it, sending an Inkling or Octoling cyborg back in time to prevent a dark future. And when Shiver becomes an iron-fisted dictator after winning every Splatfest and achieving ultimate freshness. So is this what this is? This is... This is this is the Terminator. The term Inkator, right here, with the glowing eye and everything. Cannot be killed. I don't even remember what stages are in rotation because I didn't look. No, oh, I don't like undertow spillway. Spillway. I thought their name was Nacho Dad, and I was gonna laugh, but no, it's just Nacho DMD. It's not even a joke. I like Nacho Dad. Well, you're Dad now. You have been elected Team Dad. I have decided. Ah, uh, heck. Oh, we're good. Ow. Oh. Boo. Endangered ghost. I want- I want ghost. My Animal Crossing New Horizons title is Occasional Ghost. And I think I've seen someone with occasional, so I should be able to get occasional ghost here. Theoretically. And it's hard to see them swimming in their ink with this shade of blue. No. I don't love the big bubbler because I always wonder, like, where's the most effective place to de deploy it? <laughs> Yay. Oh, let's see if- oh, I was hoping it would last long enough for me to jump there. Oh well. Carry! Splatted. Oh, they waited too long to fire that last shot, and it timed out. Uh-oh. 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 Mm. The Snow Person. It's not a bad horror movie like The Snowman. Like, you had all the clues, Mr. Police Officer or whatever. I just remember the poster was ridiculous. Oh. Oh. Don't roll out of my way. Uh-oh. Good job. Crushing Skyward Sword. I'm sorry, Skyward Sword, but the worst Link design and also, like, two hours of tutorializing. Awful. I mean, it does have Bruce, though. With Michael Fassbender? See, I don't even know who's in it. I don't know anything about what it's about. It's just, the poster was so absurd and completely undermined whatever it was going for. Oh, no, no, no! Mm. Maybe I should roll. Maybe I should brush. You just heard it was very funny. The poster or the movie? It'd be great if it was both. I feel like we as a society have gone too long without a movie just dealing in unintentional comedy. The film. Oh, excellent! At least Skyward Sword gave us Girahim. I mean, Girahim was okay, but I remember that first fight against him being a lot... 
I'm not even gonna say tougher than it was meant to be. Like I didn't die on it, but it just took a long time because trying to hit him with the motion controls. Ugh. You can't see me gesturing wildly, but you know, you're, you're supposed to strike him specifically with the sword and it just even with the Wii Motion Plus, mm, fussy, fussy. That's true, it did have cute childhood friend Zelda, and I did like that version of Zelda a lot. Um, I think I like uh, nerdy scientist Zelda from Breath of the Wild more, but cute childhood friend Zelda was pretty good. Um, but you know, I almost I almost died in the first dungeon in Skyward Sword because of a Sculptula. Because you're supposed to stab with the sword um, right into its squidgy underbelly but the problem is trying to stab with the Wiimote was imprecise and what would often happen is instead of stabbing it would turn into a swing and if you swing and hit the Skulltula it just spins and or rocks back and forth and smacks you in the face <laughs> and when you only have like three hearts that's a problem Skyward Sword really does live and die by the motion controls. You've tried to replay the game multiple times since it released, and you just cannot get past the first dungeon before you get annoyed. Yeah. Gruce is hilarious, and his theme makes me laugh. Like, it, it feels like an alternate version of the pirate's theme from Wind Waker. But even sillier. Wah, 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 wah. Like in Potionomics, when Muktuk had like his sad trombone version of his theme, it reminded me of Groose's theme. And like Groose got a character arc and everything, which was pretty cool. But yeah, fussy is an understatement. I keep thinking they're singing UFO. Maybe this song is about aliens. Gotcha. No. Lunar Edge is like a cool name of a sword, though. That sounds like a weapon in Boktai. Nice. Uh-oh. No, oh, bad. Bad. <laughs> Their name is Krusty Moon. Maybe the Lunar Edge needs some maintenance. If your sword's crusty, there may be a problem. What is the best Zelda, in your opinion? And I don't mean the game. I mean incarnation of the Princess Zelda. What is your favorite version of Zelda? Or favorite versions, because it's hard to pick. As I mentioned, I like cute childhood friend Zelda. I like nerdy scientist Zelda. And I really enjoy the implication of uh, Sakurai saying that the reason the Zelda in um, Smash Ultimate is based on the Zelda from A Link to the Past and not the mo most recent incarnation from Breath of the Wild is that, you know, that Zelda is a scientist, first and foremost, and not much of a fighter, with the implication, as someone pointed out. So every other version of Zelda is just ready to throw down at a moment's notice, which I think is good and correct. Tetra absolutely counts. Tetra very high on my personal favorite Zelda's list. I love Tetra. Um, I liked the Zelda from uh, Spirit Tracks. Even though Spirit Tracks had a lot of problems, that was a great Zelda. Oof, that was not a great maneuver. Um, I haven't gotten to play a lot of Twilight Princess, but I've heard that's a good Zelda too. And you know what? Even a shout out to CDI Zelda for good. 
The funny part is that since Gruus has red hair and yellow eyes, it could be argued that he's an ancestor to the Gerudo and by extension Ganondorf. It's not something I considered, but that's kind of funny to think about. I mean, his name starts with a G. It's right there. Yes, Claire, you can absolutely join. Yes, please. I'm the real Twilight Princess. Why, thank you. You hear that, Midna? Get out. I'm kidding. Midna's great. I would, I would never oust her from her throne. Yes, oh my gosh, please join Claire. And if it doesn't let you, let me know and I'll make a new lobby. You know, I'm gonna use... I'm gonna... Am I gonna do something regrettable? Yeah. Yeah, I am. So many regrets. So many. I'm gonna have this special charge up for extra sippy. Um, I think I'm actually gonna go with... Oh, where's my slam jerine slip-ons? There we go. I'm not sassy enough to usurp Midna's title. Well, to be fair, I mean, she is very sassy. Sassy. I won't let you. Okay, I'm gonna make a new lobby after this one. So we can let Claire in. We need Claire. You do like Tetra by extension for your fondness for Wind Waker. Love the design for Twilight Princess Zelda, but you think Skyward Sword Zelda is the cutest. It is like choosing between styles that are all good. Kind of weird, like, there's an interior to this cooler, but the beverages are all on the outside. I love this chill mist, though. This looks painful. Oh. I broke it. You know, it's funny you say I'm not sassy enough to usurp Midna's title because I've had co-workers say I'm very sassy, but like surprisingly secretly sassy because nobody expects it, but then just out of nowhere, I'll just make a comment. And people are like, wow, you're hilarious. Not not in like not in a they don't actually say, well, you're hilarious, and not in a sarcastic way, but they're just caught off guard. Like, I guess because I'm kind of quiet. Maybe not quiet, but they're not expecting just the, the wit. The cheek. The touch of cynicism. I'm only cynical at work, but boy howdy, work makes me very cynical. No, uh-oh, I didn't did not splat them. Get your juice! The subtle sass. Yeah, I think subtle is a good word for it. Stop that. I'm sorry I couldn't save you, Carrie. Oh no, I'm out of ink. Goodbye. This squidward of my workplace. No, I'm not that dour. Anyway, I think we're all squidwards. Or at least a lot of us are. I I learned that um, we are one of the busiest stores in all of Western Canada. And when you think of how humongous Canada is. And I think we do the most online orders in all of Western Canada. 10th anniversary of Sticker St Is it? Sticker Star is 10 years old? Why am I having so many crises about, like, how old things are? Like, the Macarena. Except the Macarena was more like, no, it can't possibly be, like, only from 96. That doesn't seem right. Oh, no. Give me the sippy before I get detonated. Oh yeah, you know what, you're right. Look at what I'm playing. I guess I'd have to be the Squidward, but I'm an Octo. But then Squidward doesn't seem to be a squid either. I'm having an identity crisis. Ugh. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought that was a splat. Oh no! 
it's not from 96, it's from hell. <laughs> so hello, Andorra. It's really good out of context. I mean, that's what I was saying, is that the Macarena feels much older. That it's some ancient ritual given life again in modern times. Because, I mean, there's... I don't, it's, it can't be a human creation. It's too evil. Okay, I'm going to make a new lobby. So prepare to eat yourself out, Carrie. Because uh, we, we need to get Claire in here. You are the SpongeBob of your office. See, I don't work where Carrie does. You know, we live a country apart. But I can confirm that's just the energy she gives up, gives off. I've linked you that, that shirt that says, like, Neon Genesis Evangelion, but in the style of the Spongebob Squarepants uh, title. Like, that shirt is Carrie's whole raison d'etre, if you will. Won't lose, big man fan! I'm on the wrong team for this! <laughs> I'm on the wrong team from this! Okay, I'm gonna make a new lobby. That's not the right button. Okay, here we go. You actually think it feels more recent than 96 because movies were referencing it in 2001. And surely nobody would be making references that late. <laughs> you don't want to date yourself. <gasps> we got Rue back too! Oh heck yeah! Welcome back, Rue! How was the Poke Bowl? Yeah, time to switch sides, obviously. Sorry, everybody. Team Mudkip. You know, so I, I heard you like... So I'm, some of you are probably aware of the whole debacle going on right now with DeviantArt and how they were opting everyone's whole galleries into AI image generators. And it was a process just to opt out, like, by default. Um, I haven't logged into DeviantArt in years. I'm like, I don't want to go and fiddle with that. But anyway, for April Fool's one year at DeviantArt years ago, uh, everyone's icon was changed to Mudkip because of like, so I heard you like Mudkip's meme. <laughs> Weird way to say Totodile. I love Totodile too. Can't I love them both? There was room in my heart for both. And also Oshawott. I just, I love Oshawott's face. There was some art I saw in the square here last week that someone had drawn of an Oshawott and labeled it Dennis. And I thought, you know what? Oshawott looks like a Dennis. I love the thought of somebody going on their Pokemon journey with their best bud, an Oshawott, named Dennis. Yes, that is the correct spelling. The, the correct, incorrect spelling of So I Heard You Like Mudkips. No, no, no. Okay, I'm using the wrong low, uh, wrong roller. From what you've seen in Pokemon Showdown, people love Mega Swampert. And I like Swampert too, but it's not Mudkip. It's a bigger Mudkip. There's more to love. Okay, Juice. It's blood orange flavor today. Or maybe it's like one of those fancy juices that's like apple and ginger, carrot, cayenne, a little spice. And somebody's probably selling it as like special detox blend. Like no, I just like it because it's got a little spicy kick. Ugh. And splat one, that would have been a splat. Ugh. Uh-oh. No. Every time I think I need a faster roller, like the carbon, but then I'm like, power. Oh no! No, 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 do not splat me before I get my juice. Ah! Ah! You don't even know what kombucha is. 
don't know if you're looking for an answer, but oh, kombucha is made from fungus. Gross mushroom tea. And I say that with affection, I like kombucha. Although, I, if I get kombucha, I like the canned versions that are filtered, because oftentimes when you get, like, the bottles of kombucha, it has, um, like, bits of the, the, the fungus in the bottom. So it's kind of a little... I'm not gonna say pulpy. I don't know how I can describe this without it sounding disgusting. And it's one of those things where people are like, ooh, superfood, health benefits. And it's like, no, I just... I just like the tea. It's a fermented beverage. It probably has like a really, really low alcohol content. I've actually had... I've had like kombucha, like boozy kombucha before. It sounds disgusting. <laughs> the SCOBY. I don't remember what that stands for, though. SCOBY DOBY DO. Yeah, so the pulp you see in the bottles of fungus- or No, the pulp you see in the bottles of kombucha at the bottom is fungus, yes. It's ginger peach hibiscus juice. Woohoo. Number one Splatter sister, that's the juice, baby. That bowler is so silly. It's just, it's so big. I wonder, I don't really see people using the, the afro hairstyle for Octos. But, I want to know what it looks like with that hat. So, I wonder if it's all tucked under the hat, or if... <laughs> The afro is in its full resplendence, but the hat is sitting on top. It's like in the first Splatoon, or sorry, not the, the second Splatoon, if you wore the the golden hair pick, hairpin that you, you get from beating Inner Agent 3, and it just kind of sits protruding from the afro like a straw. Or if it clips through, yeah. We're loose on the juice. We're drinking boozy kombucha. <laughs> I mean, this could be anything. It's boozy kombucha. Oh, okay. Symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. Scoby. So I stand by my statement. Scoby doby do. Uh, I think the second round of Splatfest would begin at 4 p.m. Pacific. Because that's the halfway point. That's my guess, I think. My playtime's gonna be cut down because I actually have to go into work tomorrow. Which is awful. Not for very long, a couple hours, but... It's my turn to, uh, do the deep clean. Which my back is going to love. But I can't- I can't opt out of it and say, hey look, my back is in hell. Because then I would have to opt out of my whole job. Like, look, my back is in hell, please. I pushed myself way too hard at work the other day, and I'm still feeling it. Oh, don't do that. Oh my god, I splatted the king of the fairies? Does that mean I'm the king of the fairies now? Okay, who wants to beat Titania? As long as I'm not, like, Oberon from, like, the Megaten series, because there's been a couple different Oberon designs, but they're both very silly. Oh. Don't do that. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oops, I am sick today. What a shame. I couldn't do that. Because then... It's just me and a supervisor doing the deep clean, and I'm not gonna leave him to do it by himself. That would be really mean. Our deep cleans actually used to be, like, on Wednesdays, and they were... Well, they're still technically outside my availability, but I just got told lol well, too bad. But they used to be late on Wednesdays outside of my availability, but so many people were, like, calling in sick or just otherwise not do- like, not showing up for it that, like, well, okay, we're just doing it on the weekend now. Too bad. 
Is it Oberon whose head gets transformed? I think, and I'm just going by, like, the little blurbs in Mega Ten, talking about how... I forget if he's, like, cursed, but he's tiny. Wait, the second round is in an hour and a half? Okay, yeah, it is an hour and a half. It's like, that seems too early, and then I realize what time it is, so, yeah. Well, I'm not going to be streaming um, that late, so you won't see me do tricolor battles, but hopefully they show up more than ever. That'd be nice. No, Rue! Oh, you got them. Good, good, good. Ah! I am marked. I'm not here. Don't perceive me. Eh. Did not work like I wanted it to. Head gets turned into a donkey. Like, Midsummer Night's Dream? I don't think that happens, but that's the only play I know with Oberon in it. There's probably more than one about the king and queen of the fairies. I splatted a corrupted elf warrior that fused with a tree and unwillingly unleashed his nightmares upon the forest. I mean, I'd play that game. Pretty sure that happens. I mean, I'd believe it. I don't remember what happens in that play either. I don't know if I want to keep using the dynamo. I feel like I'm not being as effective as I could be. It might happen in the play within a play. Yeah, let's use the dynamo one more time. Play Rue is already at ruler. I mean, I'm close, but I still feel like I gotta catch up. You know Claire's tough because they're using the bamboozler. So tough they vanish from this plane of existence. Coffee break. I really need to add more milk to that. Ugh. Ugh. I drink it and just like the bitterness ugh, shakes my whole body. Seven win streak. Oh my. Let's crush them. You're so tough you use the Fisher Price toys. Are you saying that you're back from getting water or are you making a dad joke? Yes, you are making a dad joke. I, I read your response before Carrie's. Capotico, when you, you know, make your game with the dry humor that only zero, uh, sorry, 0.001% of players are going to appreciate. It's going to be full of dad jokes, right? Because if it's not, then I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm playing dynamos way too aggressively. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Mm, saw that coming. The game's name will be D-A-D. <laughs> what is it going to stand for? I see J Fresh. I recognize their art style. I was going to make a Fraser joke, but it's not spelled the same way, I think. A show spells it with an I, yeah? I've never sat down to watch an episode of Frasier because I'm not a TV person. But I've seen a lot of Frasier because my mom liked Frasier, so I've seen a lot of it vicariously through her. The goal That's the goal of the game, to find out. Oh, you really know how to make an elevator pitch, because now I want to know. No, you leave Claire alone. You leave me alone first? No. I'm not strong enough with the dynamo. Oh heck, oh heck, oh heck, oh heck, oh heck, this isn't working like I want it to. Yes. I lived, fishes. Died, fishes. 
you're not ritzy enough to have seen Frasier. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's ritzy. Have I mentioned on stream that I saw a while ago someone had made a comic that was a crossover between Frasier and Columbo and it was really good? They made it work really well. Can I splat this person before time runs out? No, they're not gonna land in time. It's a little blaster. Yeah, that 52 gal. They're all a menace. Oof. Okay, no more dynamo. Dynamo is going back in the box. Hi, Cosmo. Where is he? Hang on. Cosmo! Oh, he just wandered by the desk going, wow. Meow. Eight win streak. <laughs> Don't rub it in. No, rub it in. Yeah, I'm gonna use something I'm a little better with. How much do you think this thing weighs? Oh, I got a sticker. I think that's the shiny dynamo sticker. <laughs> you know, when I was doing anarchy battles the other day, there was someone on the other team named Cosmo. I don't know what I want to use. More different roller? Hmm. I kind of want to go back to my Luna, but eh, let's use this for now. Why not? <sighs> Mori, just pick something. Just pick something. Just pick something. Ugh. It's got special charge up, though. Dang, dang, zip caster. You're waiting for a package and you keep walking by the door waiting for it. Oh, your, um, figure parts? I can't wait to see your, uh, completed hive ton. Just seeing, like, the hair that you've done. It's like, wow, hive ten, real. Are you using, like, I don't know, there's an Ikamusume Nendoroid, right? Because that would be good hair. Well, the, the tips of it wouldn't be quite the right shape. You'd have to s you smooth them out or, you know, add add some modeling polymer clay, whatever you use. His squid, his octo. Are we going to break up a couple? Unless they mean, like, his in, like, the religious sense and they're here to proselytize at us. And we're definitely gonna break them up. Oh, 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 oh. Ding dang 52 gal. I've heard of breaking up the band, but this is ridiculous. No. It was too late. No, no. I was about ready to unleash my special thinking that it was the uh, the ink storm from Splat 2, but no, it's dang Zipcaster. Didn't ask for this. Yeah, let's get out of here. I missed. Oh well, that works. Whoa. Nope. Nope, no, no, no. You leave them alone. Nice. I got hit directly with one of those blasts from the ink back the other day. Like, I just saw it sailing towards me. And I thought, is this a player super jump? No, it's not. And then I was dead. Oh. Hang on a minute. Oh! Is that my auto bomb? Does my auto bomb get both of them? Dang, dang, 52 gal. Jeez. Said I was gonna break up this couple by golly. Nice. 
nice. No. Vimo. Oh, I've... <laughs> well, they're together in death. It's okay. Good ending. I think. <laughs> See, once, once I put the dynamo away, it's over for all of you. I really like that, that, that art. Let's go water. I mean, obviously, no, don't go water because, you know, I want to win, but... Love you, big man. <laughs> Goodness, Mori, quit hitting on his squid. <laughs> oh no, I hope he doesn't think we're flirting. I'm third wheeling. You got a little carried away, huh? Good job, friends. We done good. That deserves a, a sippy as a, to a, 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 a treat. Woohoo. Yeah, I'll keep I'll keep this gear. Oh, co posture check. Thank you. I'm gonna do that. It. There we go. Stretch. Big stretch. I recommend you all stretch, too. Ugh. Oh, you are using Ikamusume's hair. Okay, I was wondering. But I couldn't remember if there was an Ikamusume Nendo or not. Suddenly, I remember... So back in the first Splatoon, there was official gear released as a collaboration with um, the Ika Musume or Squid Girl anime. Um, you can look up Squid Girl or Ika Musume to see what I mean. And it was one of those pieces of gear that differed in opinion, uh, appearance based on if you were playing as a male or female inkling. And there was, I remember seeing some plo plost, <laughs> some post in the plaza where a guy was complaining how they don't like how the hat looks on boys and is this misandry Mis misandry i never have to say that out loud oh you've seen it okay i mean to be fair though the the hat did look a lot sillier on boys because it was like form-fitting it didn't sit cutely on top of the head Mori after destroying 14. Gotta stretch! Well, it's true. I can't destroy 14 more if I don't stretch. Wait, if I fought this team, the name Scrawn sounds familiar. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, it was a different looking hat entirely. Like, it looked much sillier. Like, even, even like, the, the shirt, the dress part, also, just look more like a like a tunic. Be kind of fun if they brought it back, because um, uh, they've gotten rid of the um, well, not so much gotten rid of, but now you're not limited by gender. So I have the the school uniforms from the Squid Girl Amiibo, and I can wear both the masculine and feminine ones. They're both in my inventory. So if they brought it back, the uh, Ikamusume, then everyone can wear the hat as intended. I not like this weird form-fitting, I work at Burger King cap. Uh-oh. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh, I approached from the wrong direction, but it's okay. Oh, mm, not okay. No. No, I was too late. Oh, agony. Pain. You know what? Forget him. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna- uh-oh. Press forward. Except they're pursuing me. No, we're okay. Oh, my 
not be okay in a second. Oh, thank you. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh. What is the Tri Slashers kit? Oh, I don't remember. I think it's got the Triple Ink no, no, it must not have the Triple Ink Strike. Because I haven't seen it launched, this game. I don't remember what it's got. I haven't- I don't know if I've used the Tri Slasher in Turf in Sweat 3. It's a good weapon, though. Like, the range is short, but it's uh, got a good widespread. So if you can, you know, get behind someone. And it's pretty powerful. Oof. Not powerful, me. Oof. I stretched and, like, all the rage just melted from my body. Oof. I could use it, and we could find out together. I mean, why not? Yeah, Mori, risk letting down your team by using a weapon you are not well-versed in. I mean, I could use it, I just haven't used it in a while. Let's see. Try slasher try slasher There it is. Okay, Toxic Mist and Inkjet. Um, do I want to keep this? Maybe I'll use... Reminding you of your old retail job. If you didn't know the answer to a customer's question, you were advised to say, let's find out together. Ooh, that sounds like hell. I mean, when you say retail job, I just automatically think, ooh, that sounds like hell. Yeah, I don't know about that. Ooh. I, I do not want to go on a learning journey with some rando. And just how infuriatingly dopey people can be. So, the grocery store um, near me has been having some IT issues for like a week-ish. So, you can't use um, or fill gift cards, but more importantly, you can't use your point card if you're going through self-checkout. And the first day I saw this, there were a couple signs in the self-checkout saying, don't use your, your point card. Do not scan, do not enter the numbers. Um, and then I came back a couple days later, I think on Wednesday, because I needed to pick up something to make supper. And I noticed there was more signage now, bigger signage, with the do nots in uppercase and highlighted with a yellow highlighter. You know, like, do not scan your, your point card, etc. And then I had to go back on Thursday because my dad needed something. And when I went to the self-checkout, um, the lady there came over to me and verbally told me, you can't use your point card. And I said, People don't read, do they? And she said, no. I'm not at all surprised. Like, seeing the big signage and all the, like, do not use your card. And I, I thought, I bet a lot of people have still tried and then, like, bricked the registers trying to do it. Just nobody reads. That won't stop me because I can't read. I haven't really used the ink jet in a hot minute outside of Salmon Run. Oh, okay, there we go. Spider Nan. So, like, Aunt May. Or it also makes me think of non bread with one less A. Love non bread. Uh oh. Aw, oh, man. Oh, you were talking about the kit. <laughs> I mean, Toxic Mist, I think, is good, but it's really ink-hungry, which is a problem. Oh. I kind of wish it had burst bombs. I think one of the tri sloshers in Splat 2 had burst bombs. 
I just I just threw that toxic mist thinking burst bomb. No burst bomb. I don't really love it on this stage either because it's hard. Like this choke point is kind of hard to get around when you don't have a lot of range. Uh oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dang it. In the original Spider-Verse event, there actually was an Aunt May Spider-Man. She hit crooks with her purse. That's wonderful. Do you look how powerful this thing is? Very nice. Feels good. What a nerd, he walked right into the mist you threw. A lot of the times people will just plow into it. It's like if you're hit with a point sensor, you know, it's like I hit someone with a point sensor and I'll see them trying to hide. Like they'll be behind a pillar and just sitting there and it's like, you know I can see you, right? You're not fooling me. The past two years at your store, the self-checkouts do not accept cash. And despite that, in several signs, people still try almost every day. Ah, uh, People don't read. Or like a few times at my... Oh, we had a disconnect. A few times at my store, we've had to close early because people would call in sick. Yeah, I guess we lost someone. And so we would put up a sign saying, sorry, we're closing at this time, right next to the registrars. And like at the start of the line, the place where you line up and we'd still have people coming up on the regular being like, hey, you guys open? Oh, someone on the other team disconnected. Oh. Well, okay. It must have been a late disconnect, because I didn't notice it. At your current job, the HR manager told you during your orientation that a large majority of customers' questions can be answered by looking on the box of the product. You know, it makes me think, I'm so glad that I don't work in IT, because I would probably tear my hair out. Um... I remember my dad telling me once that this, he was really sick and he got a call at like stupid o'clock. Um, this was years ago before I was born with, I think so, I think so. Anyway, someone had called him about an IT issue they were having at like stupid o'clock in the morning. Like, we need you to fix it. And all the guy on the phone would say, it's not working, it's not working. Like, my dad's trying to troubleshoot whatever issue they were having on the computer and he's trying to walk this guy through but this guy just keeps saying it's not working it's not working like well can you click on this thing and do this it's not working it's not working and then after a big headache it turns out the guy was trying to right click on everything hence why it wasn't working i thought my god if it were me be lucky I didn't come over there and strangle you with the mouse cord. UFO. I'm gonna get splatted. Yeah. I think after this I'm gonna do one more and then I need to call it a stream. Because I've gone like an hour longer than I was intending, but... Splatoon fun, and I like hanging out with you all. Um, for those of you that are team teaming up with me, I will be playing more squids after, but just not on stream. <laughs> Three hours to look, look, it's fine, okay? Okay? I like hanging out with you all. Streaming Splatoon is fun. Oh, I helped with that, like for a frame. One frame. Claire, can I just say that I respect you immensely for, like, getting, like, ground zero as a Hydra. Like, you were there. Not just, like, camped up on that ledge. Aw, oh, heck. Because that's where all the Hydras hanging out. Hang out. Except the cool Hydras. I've been in a tear lately. Not with this bucket. I'm not great with this bucket. No, 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 no. You leave them alone. Uh. 
Wiggins for the win. Who is Wiggins? Nope. <laughs> get someone, but okay. Have I won a match while using this bucket? I mean, I've only used it for like a match but, or two, but still. We got this. We got this. <laughs> On a tear with the longest streams. I mean, it's hard not to as well. Like, with Prodigal, it's hard to put it down. Same with Plushonomics. Especially if I'm only doing them one day a week. Okay. Mo Ikai. One more. And then I'm going to stop the stream. But thank you. Preemptively. Thank you very much, everyone. It's so nice to hang out with friends. Me saying, you're so brave, and Claire, terrified of heights. <laughs> it's a certain- it's a certain kind of bravery, though, to use the Hydra up close. That's how I use the Hydra. You know what? You know what? Hang on, I, I gotta get my points first. Uh, I just went past it. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what? Why not? That's fashion, baby. Um, I wish I had my shoes from Splat 2 that had uh, ink save remain and ink recovery up. You should also take a break and like let Angie stream Fatal Frame without your hollering at kids breaking through. Oh, that's right, she's streaming Fatal Frame in like what an hour, I think. Does her cute um, PNG tuber model have a name? Cause I love that design with the pink hair. Oh, she's starting now. Please give Angie my regards. I believe in you, Angie. You photographed those ghosts. Uh, difference between the Hydra and the Heavy. So the Hydra has longer range than the Heavy Splatling. I think it's still like four hits to splat for both. Um, but the trade-off for the longer range is a longer charge time. Um, the Hydra Splatling is also considered a heavyweight weapon. So you actually move slower um, compared to, say, the heavy, sp or, yeah, the heavy splatling, which is a middleweight weapon. Although that said, um, using uh, swim or run speed up actually has a more pronounced effect with heavyweight weapons. There's a bit of a trade-off. Oh, just trying to see if I can get that octo brush. I'm impressed that you play handheld carry. I know I've said this before, but just I can't do it. Like I feel like I can't see what I'm doing and needing to use the gyro like I just tilt the screen too much. Dang roller. There we go. This isn't like the most effective place to throw it, but my god, I got Saul Goodman. I've seen so many Breaking Bad posts in this game. It's like, what's what's the average age of the player base here? Yeah, this is what you gotta do as a Hydra. You gotta get up, like, real close. Because you're so slow and you take so long to charge up. So clearly you have to get right in the fray. Yeah, you leave them alone. Uh oh I thought I splatted them before when Claire still had their shield up. Well, that's distressing. Well, I'm not a juice, but I had just enough. 
Saul Goodman's a lawyer, right? I've, I've never seen Better Call Saul or Breaking Bad. I've just, just the memes and like the, the joke that like Breaking Bad fans almost have a PhD in video editing because there's so many like like really high effort mashups of like Breaking Bad. I've seen Mario Kart a couple times. I've seen Mario 64. I've seen Skyrim. I feel like almost all of them have Walter White like looking up at the sky and giving someone the finger. The average age is old enough to be aware that Breaking Bad has an incredible pool of memes. That's fair. This is a really safe place to stand where I can't see people approaching from my side. Nice, nice. Thank you, Rue. Oh, saved by the bell. You don't really tilt the screen as much as you think. I mean, I feel like I tilt it enough that it's distracting. Oh, your package just arrived. Ooh. I was going to ask what parts you got from it, but I guess you'll post on Clark so I can see there. Bow, bow, bow. Good job, guys, gals, non-binary pals. Excellent work. Try it out after I go online? I mean, I've tried it before. Like, I can do it, but it's not as comfortable, I feel. God, this helmet. I'm gonna make some pasta with this colander now. Congrats on 12, Rue. Dang. Hang on, let me, let me do my gotcha. Oh, I got a cursed Furby and a skateboard. Maybe you folks are my good luck charm to stop me from getting experience tickets. And I got a shiny dynamo. All right, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me for some Sploon. Um, I am, I'll probably, I'm gonna play uh, after I, more after I take a break for food and whatnot. So if you're still going later, uh, you'll see me in tricolor matches. Um, but please stay safe, stay healthy, have a wonderful evening, and I will catch you on Tuesday for more Pushonomics. Stay fresh, all y'all. Bye-bye.